Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Houdini Kino in Zurich. Today is the opening of the first Japanese film festival, Gimnaku Film Festival, new uh, films from Japan. We have tonight with us Ambassador of Japan. We'll ask Mr. Ambassador, what is your opinion about this project which gives opportunity to connect two cultures and present it through this unique film festival? Ah. Of course, and uh, this is, an, uh, as you know, the an 150th anniversary between Switzerland and Japan. Yes. And uh, uh, we are eager to let Swiss people know about Japan. Okay? Of course, especially Japanese culture. And this kind of cinema represents the very important part of Japanese culture. So I'm very happy that and, uh, this kind of event is held here <laughs> today. Uh, yes, we are very happy too because uh, I'm coming from Serbia oh, okay. and uh, I moved here recently and for me it's very interesting to find out something more because I still didn't visit Japan in person. Uh -huh. So I really appreciate this opportunity so we can promote the story and share it uh, uh, to the others. Oh, good, good, good. So we're looking forward then to the next year as well, I think. Oh, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> and uh, actually, the film is uh, very popular in Japan. Hmm? And uh, actually, uh, I myself is uh, a great film fan. Yes. And uh, when I was young, a teenager or a 20th, I saw uh, more than 100 films a year. Wow, this is a massive yes. number. And, and, and the Japanese films are really good, really good, well-developed industry. So uh, I think uh, 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 everybody can enjoy today's event, of course. Yeah, we look <laughs> forward to see the former, the opening film, which is sold out. So right. that means uh, this is the right thing. Yes. Thank you very much yeah. and see you some next occasion. Yes, thank you. Very much. We are tonight in the Houdini Cinema and we're going to ask a few people we met here why they decide to visit this film festival? Of course, the movie is all about Japan, and I'm originally from Japan, so this is a great occasion to watch a Japanese movie. Do you like home? Yes, in a way, but it's in a really dark way, because all the movie lineup is a social issue covering, and uh, I'm really excited about it. So we can be looking forward to start the movie. Of course, can't yeah. wait. So enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Is what you expect to see through these movies? Um, I'm really curious about what's what ja the Japanese vision of life and uh, what's what's going to be screened. I mean, I, I really wonder because it's so different in Japan, and I want to see their point of view on things. Yeah, like, so we can collect something from their culture and maybe use yeah, it after. I mean, I'm half. Asian. I always travel east, so oh, it's like, right. yeah, for me it's like coming home or something. Oh, that, yeah. that's really nice that you came to support this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, are you are looking forward to the next year, yes. as the ambassador said, it's going to be very yes. much possible. So we yeah. can enjoy these more days, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Like to Thank you. で、日本に対してお伝えしたいっていうのがあるんでしょうか。え、日本に対してお伝えしたい気持ちと、スイスに対してお伝えしたい気持ち何か違いがあったらよかったらお聞かせください。まずスイスでのあの上映に関してはも
あのホームレスの方々の暮らしですとか少し難しいテーマに関しての映画だったと思います、うん、撮影の段階で何かこう難しい、うん、あの状況とかあったんでしょうか難しい状況はあのホームレスをテーマにしてたら町が撮影を許可しないっていうのが一個だけあったけれども、うん、So when you actually have the theme of a homeless people、uh, a city of the shooting place they're not gonna let you shoot Because you have this thing of homeless. Yeah. Yeah. Homeless and てて Because the city is having that position that they have to let them go out. But、えー、the city is having a prefecture like Canton in Switzerland.、Okay. So the Canton actually said okay for the shooting.、Yeah. で、撮影している間は実際の,あの人物がモデルだったので。あのその方のすごく知恵のある生き方をみんなで再現しようとしたのとても楽しかったです。Mm-hmm. So really、really it, just, uh, so、で、まあ、そういった中で。あのー、ただたもちろん,ななんていうの都会の中の自由な人っていうイメージなんだけれども、えー、同時に、えー、まあその町の権力とあるいは暴力と、まあ、素直に向き合ってるそういう、あのー、スリリングな感じも出したかったですね。実際にいる方がモデルになってるというのを聞いて、mm. あすごくじゃあ鈴さんその伊藤さんが。So he expressed very, very good,、uh, as I saw from the trailer. Ito さんの演技がすごく迫力があって、トレーラーを見ただけですごく心狭いものがありました。あの伊藤さんという方は、うんずっと70年代からフォークソングを歌っている方で、あのそういう前のりに対してすごく理解がある。He's actually a singer which,、uh, who is、uh, very active from the 70s. So he had these folk songs and they, he is in a member of kind of minority、um, group. But、uh, he really focused and put the light on these people who are not maybe having a majority group. In Japan, the third part of the Nagoya is the place where the base is in the city of Ito Takao. その名古屋の街で伝説的なシーンがあった。名古屋のボブディランとでも言う。そうで、アクター伊藤隆夫、he is actually from the third biggest、um, city in in Japan, Nagoya. Okay. And he has been actually called、uh, Bob Dylan in Nagoya. Oh, so, wow. Very popular, famous <laughs> singer. <laughs> yes, and the last question is if he have any plans, what he gonna do? In the f- near future, maybe some new movie again about this topic or something else. My husband plans, yes. I have a plan to do something else. I have a plan to do something else. I have a plan to do something else. これはあのー。ちょうどこのマイハウスを撮ってる時に大きな地震と津波が来ましたで人がたくさん死んだでうんその死んだ人を、まあ
痛みながら痛みながら回ってるでも宗教ではないそういう青年によっていろんな人が変化していくっていうのは本当に素晴らしいドラマなんですね。So, this is a film about the incident that happened in Japan, the tsunami and the catastrophe、mm -hmm. in 2011. So, there are so many people passed away because of this incident. So,、um, um, he was always the main character of this film, went to so many places in Japan to actually give, their, give his、um, feeling to those、um, passed away people. So, this is a very impressive and touching film that he's making right now. Thank you very much for your time. Yes.